Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Try It Out Tuesday. It is Tuesday. My name is Bev, and I've just hit my head off that. Never mind. Doesn't matter. No sense, no feeling. How are we? I'm very excited about this Tuesday. Okay? And not just because, obviously, I'm here with you. As exciting as that is, it's a regular occurrence. But I am excited about that. But no, 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 I'm excited because both of the girls have now finished school for the summer holidays. So that's me happy again. Hello, Caroline. Hello, Anne. Hello, Alison. I hope you're well. I am, because it's summer holidays now. So, yeah. I'll have to find something else to be mardy about next week. I'm sure I'll manage. It's a hardship. But I will do my best. Shazza! Kim, Lynn and Samantha. Pauline, hello. Right. So I thought what we could do this evening. Sorry, I'm just going to have to clean my glasses because they're filthy and I can barely see my desk. Um, I think this evening we're going to make some ATCs. Check out the preparation. It's not not full preparation, but there's a bit gone on. So that's quite nice. Um, and I'm thinking... Pinks, yellows and oranges. Um, we're going to slide our way onto the warm side of the colour wheel. Because I feel like the week before last we did blues. Well, greens. Sort of, we did the, sort of, the warmer greens, I suppose. And then last week it was more kind of blue and green and black and white. So I was like, ooh. Like Sammy said, some cheeky ATCs. With some nice warm sides of the colour wheel. Magnifique. Okay, so, um, right, let's crack on. So what I've done is I've already cut my ATCs to size out of some scrap card I had, which is also part and parcel of the inspiration for this live because I had lots of slightly bigger bits. That, and I don't know about you, but when I have slightly bigger bits of card, I don't always want to chop them up for messages, but they're not necessarily big enough for card layers. So... Then I have to talk about something else. And that's what ATCs are perfect for. Okay? So this is what we're going to do. I also think um, ATCs are great for quick cards. But obviously, um, for quick crafting was what I meant to say then. You know, if you want to make something quick, they're great for that because of the small size. But if you are making smaller cards, obviously they do make really good... Um, panels for the front of cards. So I've got my blending mat out. I've just got my little blending mat out. And we're going to do some blending on there. We're going to go through some dinker balls. See, I was prepped, but not enough to get my blending brush out, brushes out. So I'll do that in a minute. In just a hot second. Right, but what we're going to do... So I'm going to put some picked raspberry. Some mustard seed. And some of my carved pumpkin on here we are then going to mist them with our mini mister or any water spray you have is absolutely fine and then i'm going to dunk i'm going to dunk like that yeah and then i'll just put a little bit oh that's good oh yeah see so we're going to dunk till we're happy i might, might, have, might have prematurely put my mini mister away then okay so i'm going to spritz a bit more Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Okay. And then this one. Right. So we've got some more little dots around now. So I'm just going to go back in with my first one and just pick up a few of these little dots because I love how they sit on top. And then I'm just going to put a little bit more picked raspberry over there by here to go on top. So does anyone have any exciting summer plans? You know, because who knows, I might tag along. No, I wouldn't do that to you, I promise. Um, so here we go. We're going to put them there and give them a quick wafty waft with the old heat tool. Oh, 
Okay. So, you could do this technique with your regular distress if that's what you prefer to use, and if that's with your distress minis as well. Um, you know, if you only have spray inks, you could use some of those just sprayed onto your mat, and again, just add some water. Um, lots of people don't realise you can actually do that with the Dina Wakely gloss sprays as well. Um, you can actually, whilst they're wet, you can loosen them up with water as well and blend them and mix them. Okay, so that's pretty cool, I think. Right, let me just grab grab those. I'm gonna get those out of the way. You see, I've been I have been sorting to a certain extent. To a certain extent. All right. So we're gonna get our pink and our orange and our yellow brushes. Okay. Ooh, a river cruise. Oh, look at you with your plans. Don't have plans. Right, and then I'm going to take, so I'm going to be working out of Dinkables set three because I want to use, and I may come back and use my glass spatter, but I'm not sure. Um, the circles dinkable and the spatter dinkable okay because i think these are really good for just adding a bit of depth on to your atcs okay so yes yeah, so we're doing circles first and i'm going to go in with some mustard seed okay i'm not necessarily going to use all of it just to Because we're building inky layers, so it doesn't have to be, you know, all singing, all dancing. Not that I'm particularly sure you want me doing either. But it doesn't have to be all singing, all dancing. Okay, and then I'm going to do some picked raspberry through my spatter templates. Okay, and what I love about this is if you love the look of ink spatter but you're not confident with it or you've primarily got ink pads and not an ink spray or um, reinkers or things like that, it means you can get that lovely ink spattery effect but not get too messy if that's not what you're into or if you've just got your ink pads and brushes, you can still get that sort of paint spatter look on your projects. Okay. So, I'm going to do this one as well. Alright, now, obviously if you've got Dinkable Set 3, you would just rinse this off or get the ink off and reuse it. But in the interest of time and the fact I lose them and replace them, I'm also going to add some carved pumpkin spatters on. Okay? So what I'm going to do actually is I'll turn it upside down so that it doesn't match up. Not get messy. It's not for everybody, Alison. It really isn't. Okay, so this is giving it a really nice speckledy effect. Okay, so like I say, this is Dinkable set three, but make sure you do have a look because I mean, like I said, there's five Dinkables in every set, so you might see somewhere you're like, oh no, well. You know, there's one I think I'll get more use out of. There should be, there should be something there to suit you. Okie doke. Right, now in the background, I'm actually then going to stamp over this. So we're going to create lots of lovely inky layers. Okay, I'm going to go in with the butterfly stitch. Okay. So I'm going to open... Take that off its laminated backing. All of your B-Crafty stamps come on a laminated backing. And that's just so you easily have somewhere to store it. Okay. Can't lie, for ease of everything, Sam and I have contemplated more than once 
ridding ourselves of the laminated backings because then we could get the stamps in packed and done um but we really like them and we know you guys do too so it's just one of those things that we like to put a bit of extra effort in because we really like it so you know it's not altruistic really um right so i'm going to stamp different areas of this stamp onto the atcs because the thing about three atcs is they're a th they're the same but they're different and that's what we want okay so i'm going to ink up the bottom of the butterfly stitch all right and when i say we go to the extra effort uh, it's more sam because she does she as she chops them all up by hand every single one okay um and i'm going to go for the bottom section so i'm going to do this upside down so that i can pick where i'm going i need a piece of paper or card i'll tell you what i could get i could get an envelope because i don't know about you but i buy packs of cards with envelopes and because i use them for layering i never use as many envelopes as i do cards okay so you can see we've then got that area hold up a bit on the atc right so like i say it's all about building up layers without adding any layers and this is my favorite kind of crafting inky layers what you're making or what i'm making is somewhat irrelevant it's just all about inky layers okay so then i'm going to take the mustard seed i'm going to go for the butterfly end for want of a better description okay and we're going to but that would be nice side on as well but no we're not we're going to go there there is a chance i will turn this envelope into something else as well <laughs> okay okay so that's a really nice subtle one in there can you see that butterfly beautiful for once for once i honestly feel like it's showing up even better on camera which is next to never happens okay and then obviously we're going to go in with a carved pumpkin next um but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up the side here okay and then so we're going to use that bit okay and then we're going to turn it around and then we're going to use that bit okay all right and then we're going to put a butterfly stitch to the side and now the variation on the theme is starting to become more apparent okay right now what i another thing i love to do is where is my make up my inky layers is mix our sort of freehand stamps with our digital collage style style stamps because i just think it gives a really sort of <sighs> juxtaposition thank you within your crafting so with the digital collage style of the butterfly stitch i'm going to go in with the freehand borders number two okay and use but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use three different ones so again we're really starting to pull out the variants of the theme in these so the first one i'm going to go for is the middle one this is the one i probably use the most um i think it's because it goes with everything it's lines and dots which is what most of these are for to go with anything 
but it's lines and dots so it just does go with anything and i'm going to start i'm going to stamp in my black um for this one we're going to go straight down there okay and then the next one i'm going to do what i call the coffee bean that's not what i was thinking when i was doing it but it's what i think now okay so we've got the coffee bean here I'm actually going to do it sideways. Okay. And then the presents. Again, because that's what I see when I look at them. Little presents. And all this sort of thing occurs to me after, obviously. Not whilst I'm drawing them. That would be far too much to ask. Okay. And then I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to do that one inside of there. And then do this one right off the edge. Okay. So now the differences are really starting to show, which is pretty cool. All right. Now, from here, I'm going to grab my mixed messages and my current desk favourite. If you are new to Try It Out Tuesday, when um, I start using stamps and they start living on my desk, I sort of go through a phase of that's all I use because of, for no other reason and that's just what I use. I go through a phase. So yeah, so I've got mixed messages number one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of hope. So we're gonna take our hope and our versifying Claire. We're gonna add that in there. All right, and then we're going to add some love from the Love You Most I Win. I'm going to lose that hope stamp soon. I keep pinging it off. I need to clean it. And add some love at the top. Okay. And then some colour outside the lines. We're going to add in some colour. With black. See? Sometimes it's also fun to be ironical. Okay, colour. Okay, so we have our sense, we have some words, should I say. <coughs> now, the images we're going to be using on these is our sketchy flowers because I had three of these beautiful tulips in different colours so that's going to have to change because I want the orange one that's on the pink and the pink one that's on the orange okay but I think they look a little bit lost on there all on their own so what I've also got is some of the doodle art mandalas okay these are great for colouring but what I do find myself using them a lot for is using them in black and white just to add sections onto things which is really, really cool. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab a far too big pair of scissors, but because I'm cutting these along an axis, I wanna do it on a in a one cut, okay? So.
And this is the thing, just play with the placement. You don't have to decide anything just now. We're just playing with the placement. Um, do I have any more of these? Cottage. No. Okay. So then I'm going to go for... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to cut around the inner... If you look, most of the mandalas have several layers. Okay? So you can decoupage them, you can pick out different sections, and you can layer them up that way. Okay, this one... going to go here but I'm also going to cut it in half on that axis. I'm going to put that there so again similar but different all right now let me just take these off just a second So I think something else I'm actually quickly going to do is add some texture paste. So I'm using the Distress Texture Paste. And yeah, I'm going to go back through my spatter template that I was using earlier. I'm just going to give it a mist and a clean off. I've got my painty towel. Oh, it's on my leg. Uh, right. Just so we've got a little bit of real life texture. That's nearly empty. I'm going to go for my grit paste instead then, because I know this isn't. <laughs> The good thing about grit paste as well is it's really light. It's ever so moussey, okay? So if you're looking for, like, a texture paste that's good for the front of cards so they don't get too weighty, um, I think the grit paste is pretty good for that. So... And as you see, I'm going in over the border stamping as well okay and then yeah this one down here do wash your inkables off as soon as you can after using any texture pastes. Okay. Just because it's easier to get off when it's wet. I'm not saying you can't get it off after. It's just more difficult. I also think, Sam just said, oh, that's a pop of white. It is. And I think this is also a really good way of showing you that spatter as well, again. You know, it just gives you that effect, doesn't it? But also, what I also want to show you, ooh, hello, is if you look at the dimension you get with the, with the dinkables, okay? Because they're still made with the same thick mylar that we use. For the big inkables, you know, it's all the same mylar. We don't use a thinner one for the smaller ones or anything like that. So, <clears throat> because obviously, A, you might just prefer using the smaller ones, okay? B, limited budget for your crafting stuff, so you want to get as many patterns as possible. The dinkables are great for that. So they've still got to be out of the same good quality thing, haven't they? Um... You know, so you can blend through them, you can emboss them, all that sort of thing. Hello, J Mac. Isn't this becoming a regular occurrence? 
Right, so that was a right and a so then. So I'm going to put on, put on my doodle art mandalas that we've prepped. I'm going to use matte medium for that because I like to. There was a time where honestly I didn't understand the importance of matte medium. It seems almost foolish now. I've put that where I wanted to put the mandala. That's fine. We'll work it out. Um, but as always, if there is anything you think, I'd like to buy that, and I've seen people using it, but in reality, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with it. Ask. Because I'll tell you something. I've noticed if you... Obviously, everything online is videos nowadays. I still like pictures. I like a picture of a made project that I can just sit and look at without feeling like I'm missing something. Um, that's why I love the blog. The creative team on the blog with their lovely little photos, step by steps, that I can just look at. I'm not trying to follow it. Do you know what I mean? If I need to, if I, if I need to just spend a couple of minutes just staring at the same thing, I can. Anyway, back to what I was going to say. I have noticed, for example, it's becoming better, and I find this quite useful as well. For example, skincare online. I don't understand skincare. I put that in the wrong place. That was down here, wasn't it? Sif. Um, I don't understand what all, half of it's for in makeup and stuff. What's half of it for? I don't get it. Um, but the a lot of them are realising that they have to talk us through it if they want us to understand it. So in a similar vein, if there's any mediums or whatever, you're like, I don't get. That's what Try It Out Tuesdays are for. Just give me a shout and say, I need you to explain this because I don't get it. Okay? But honestly, head on over to the blog. You can see the design team create stuff. That is not matte medium. That's my grip paste. Um... And it's great. Sally has actually done ATCs today as well. So if you're thinking, ooh, ATCs, and she's done some in blues and things. So if this is making you think, oh, do you know what? I do actually want to get me ATC on. Sally's got you. All right. So, in the sketchy flowers, <laughs> you scroll down to the screen. In the sketchy flowers, um, there is more than this flower, but there's many sketchy flowers on the sketchy flowers set. But I'm going through her. I want to refresh my collage bits box. I want to do some new ones. So therefore. I have to use the ones that I've already got. Because for me, if you've had a load of stuff in your collage box and it's no longer... And you feel like it's still there, even when you add more, whatever, then you really do have to use it. Okay. What else do we think these needs? In all honesty, I was going to put some wordy stickers on um sorry just very briefly sammy could you message my daughter and inform her that i'm on my live because she's trying to phone me which means she's forgotten um i use matte medium as a glue absolutely maggie so i use matte medium primarily you could say as an adhesive i use it for adhering things like this i use it for putting for example the b crafty media papers like the catalyst papers into journals okay you can, you can go over things you can seal it and that sort of thing so i use it as a fantastic medium for sealing um using this b crafty stamping tissue if you want to put the stamping tissue matte medium it's the only thing for the job in my opinion the problem is with pvas or other things like that you're always going to get that slight sheen Okay, but with a matte medium, it's a matte surface to begin working on again. 
So it basically seals in what you've done ready for the next step. Basically. You nearly did ATCs for next Sunday. You can do ATCs, my darling. Don't think just because me and Sally have done ATCs, you can't do ATCs. Now, in all honesty, I was going to um, put some wordy stickers on these, but I feel like I've covered it with the stamps. The, st the wordy stickers and the mixed messages stamps are designed by Sam, so therefore I'm not showing any favouritism to either mine or her creations there. So that's absolutely fine. Um, but I do feel like it does need something else. Hmm, as I gaze around the bomb site, for want of a better description, that is my craft room. Um, where's the crafty cupboard? What could we add in? Ooh. Ooh. These have gone a bit along the orangey side, so what we could do... Wah! There was nearly a sequin a lunch. Is add some pink sequins i should have done pink i should have done barbie theme yeah well i didn't so here we are right i think i'm gonna go for oh yeah this lovely pink here that's all right maggie right so, I'm going to add on some city just needs something else. This might not be the right thing, but it's what I'm going to add on regardless. Okay. Right. Pop quiz. How many sequins are we going to put on each thing? I'm going to start on the next one so no one can cheat. Do, 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 do. Wee. You could also add some faux stitching on as well if you wanted to. Oh, look at you all saying three. Ten points to Gryffindor. There we go. Absolutely three. It's all about the rule of three. Unless you get to four, in which case it becomes the rule of five. Basically, it can't be two or four or whatever. I think the ones you get really high in the even numbers, it's not such a big deal. But lower down it matters. Loads of cheeky faux stitchage. Stitchage? Is that a word, Sam? Sounds like something you've just made up. I'm saying that I suppose all words are made up really. Oh in my mini brayer I was looking for last week. I can see it. It's right in front of my eyeballs. And no, that's not something I've tidied up this week, so that's not an excuse. Okay. So, I, but I do think that's them done now. But you can add more. You can use your scraps to create the back, to create these three. You can start with a larger strip that you're just ready to cut down into sections. Okay? The only reason I didn't do that is because the piece of card I had was seven inches long and I needed seven and a half so for yeah so for anybody new to ATCs they're two and a half by three and a half inches okay um I absolutely love making ATCs and like I say you can use them as little card panels as well um but they're just fun for you to make and you can you can um start them I have been being asked repeatedly um, about start restarting the ATC swap in the Bee Crafty Stamps group, so I will do that. We will do that. Um, and I will let you know when to make sure you're a member of the Bee Crafty Stamps group. But you can really see all those lovely inky layers that go together to make that. So thank you very much for joining me this evening. I'm going to go and celebrate the kids finishing school, probably with a Pepsi. Pepsi Max, in fact. <laughs> I live life on the edge. Thank you very much. Um, might even have a cup of tea. Whoop. 
Well, it is still a Tuesday. All right, then, guys. Thank you so much. And please make sure you're sharing your Bee Crafty makes into the Bee Crafty Stamps group. Because, basically, we're nosy and we really love to see them. All right, then, guys. Bye-bye.